Hello, we're going to do an installment of uh, Digital Photo One. We're going to go over layer masks. So this is a project that's been a favorite of many of my students, layer masks. We're actually going to switch it up a little bit. Um, previously in the past we've done celebrity masks, but seeing as we're doing our goals and our 10-year goals, what you're going to be doing is creating a photograph of yourself in 10 years, both in career, health, and personal. So for example, for your career, if you want to be a veterinarian, you could be a veterinarian in a veterinarian's office. Uh, for your personal, it could be you sitting in Hawaii on the beach somewhere. And then lastly, for your health, it'll be, you know, maybe crossing the finish line of a marathon. So you'll be doing three all together of your 10 year goals so that you not only have it written, but then you also have a visual of your 10 year goal. So what I wanna do is actually create something together about how to do it so that way you'll be comfortable with creating it because it is kind of multi-step. It's about using layer masks and also getting things off the internet. So I actually did the first part first. I actually found a photograph of Again, before I did layer masks but for celebrities, but this one I think is more pertinent. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be opening up two photographs. One is the headshot. So I actually have a headshot of myself that you'll be getting from period, whatever period number you're in. The next one, you're going to be having a photograph that you find on Google Images. You're going to go to Google Images, make sure it's a large file you're going to open that up. So I'm actually opening this up in Photoshop. I'm opening it up separately. So I have two photographs. I have one of my headshot that I'm going to be using and one picture of Brad and Angelina. I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger by going Command Plus so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm actually seeing that it's not a very good image. So I'm going to close this one. I'm going to go on the internet and I'm going to find the picture of Brad and Angelina. I actually found it here. And, and so to download the image, I'm actually going to click on the image. I go view image. And I actually should know better. So, and then I go file save as and then I save it as Brad and Angelina this also says Tokyo etc etc so I'm saving it there and then I can find it on my desktop it's over here so I'm actually going to open that up in Photoshop right here and so you can see it's much better, it's much more clear. The other one was a low resolution, you can't work with it at all. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the image and make sure the image size is 300 resolution. So therefore, again, it can be printable, it's good size. And I go image, image size. I'm going to change the resolution from 72 to 300. I'm also going to change the height and width so it's not so huge. Right now it's a huge, huge file. As you can see, it's 49 megabytes. We don't want 49 megabytes. Let's take it down to 6 inches high. And I'll say OK. And whenever I want to make my image bigger or smaller, I go Command plus or Command minus. I'm then going to go to my headshot. I'm going to go Image, Image Size. Also change that to 300. I'm going to change the height to a little bit smaller than the other one. Remember the height for the other one is six inches tall. This one I'm actually going to make three inches tall because again it's a photograph that I'm going to be putting in that photograph, if that makes sense. So I'm putting my head in Angelina's head to make it so that Brad Pitt is my date. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to switch this guy. I'm going to drag him over here. And so to do that, I kind of took it by the head itself. I'm then actually going to kind of use the lasso tool. I'm going to lasso around my head just like that. And then I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to scooch my head over to Angelina's face. 
and I can see right now it's a little small so maybe I'll actually change it a little bit later so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity from 100 to 60 so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm then going to say like, yeah, it's totally too small. So I'm going to first flip it by going edit, transform, flip horizontal. So I'm facing the same way, looking at Bradley. Hello. I'm then going to make it a little bit bigger, so edit, transform, scale, just like I've done before with the Mandela, just so you remember, you may or may not remember. So I'm trying to line up my nose and my mouth with Angelina, and just notice too, I'm actually cowing from the corners and I'm kind of dragging out like a diagonal. If I go in like that, then I totally funk up my... Um, I totally make it very funky. You want to make sure the your um, scale is the same. So again, okay, so scale, you're making it bigger. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Edit, transform, rotate. So the important thing is I try to line up as much as I can my mouth and her eyes. So my mouth and her eyes, it looks like I need to go a little bit bigger. Scale, go a little bit bigger. Oh, looking good, looking good. And then rotate a little bit more. So again, it's a little futzing, futzing here, futzing there, but within time you start getting it. All right, once you're happy with that, you're gonna press check. And then, this is the magic. I'm gonna bring it down to 100% opacity. And you can see, obviously, it looks like a picture of me pasted on Angelica's face, which doesn't quite work. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to be creating a layer mask. A layer mask, think of a mask as if you're putting something on top of something else, like a piece of paper on top of something. And then you're actually just cutting it out a little bit so you can see what's underneath. But you're actually making it non-destructively. So it's you're not completely erasing it. If you ever mess up, you can just go back and fix it. So to make a layer mask, all you have to do is go to this little knobby guy, this little rectangular guy with the circle in it. You press that, and you start seeing there's a mask right there. There's the layer one, which is my lovely face, and then you've got this mask here. You're then actually going to use the paintbrush tool. So the paintbrush tool, not the art history brush tool, but the paintbrush tool. And you're going to actually kind of paint as if you are erasing, but it's just, you know, using the black. So you're kind of erasing around a certain area. So in some, in some cases too, I'm like, oh. So it's actually erasing and just getting what's underneath my head to really start getting it. And you try to make it match as much as possible. Kind of play around with it. If you mess up at any point, you just kind of hit this little, see these little square rectangles? You kind of hit the arrow key. You use the brush tool again, and then you can kind of get what's underneath it right there. The other thing too, if you want to get the, let's step backwards. If you actually want to deal with the skin tone, so right now it looks like I'm a little too peachy and she's a little paler, I actually can go make sure I'm back on the picture of myself by clicking on it. I can go image adjustment, brightness contrast, make myself a little bit brighter maybe. Oh, that looks good. You can also change the skin color itself, so go image adjustments, color balance. Maybe add a little bit of yellow to my hue. I'm actually seeing a little bit. But it's looking more and more natural. So once you're done, what you're gonna do is go to Layer, Merge Visible, and then you'll save it as last name, first name, exercise, layer, mask. And that will go under RBV class one, two, three, one common, period, whatever period number you're in, and then layer masks. 
A quick review of how to find images off Google. You're going to go to Google. Then you go to Google Images. You say that in office or whatever the career is that you want. You're then going to go to the advanced search right here on the top right hand side. You're going to change your image size to large. Go advanced search. Once you find an image you like, like this one for example, I think that's actually kind of funny. You're going to go to view image. Make sure there's no copyright signs all over it. You're then going to go file, save as, and then save it to your desktop as whatever it is that you want. Okay? Good luck. I can't wait to see what sort of stuff you come up with. All the instructions are on moncurephoto.com along with all of where everything is. Um, okay, good luck and have fun. Can't wait to see what you come up with.